Hi, it's the Brooker, that gratitude guy. Okay, the 4th of July. We're celebrating that uh, holiday uh, today. And I was thinking about, as I thought about the 4th of July and what it really represented, and yes, of course it's called the 4th of July, but it is in fact Independence Day. Independence for our country. But how about independence for you and me? How about having the freedom to make our choice and the perspective that that freedom gives us? So many times, I spoke last week about speaking to a group of inmates about two weeks ago and how that impacted me so much and being so grateful for my freedom. How grateful are for we for the soldiers and the men and women that fight for this country to make sure that we are free. Something, again, that is so critical and we need to stop and think about it and really, really be grateful about it. I thought also it's always about perspective, how we look at things. As you look at those fireworks bursting up in the air, yes, they're great and they're colorful and they're exciting, but they really represent that freedom and that independence in a big way. Every year on the 4th of July, we watch those fireworks and they represent all those people have come before us to give us the free land that we live in and free will as much as anything. We get to choose for what we want to do. But I thought about perspective too for a second. I thought about this. It's always how we look at things. I remember the story years ago of the two candy stores on each side of the street. And each sold an ounce of candy for five cents. And one day the store manager, or the store owner rather, one of the stores is looking at all the kids in the town went to the store across the street. And he couldn't figure it out. Same price, five cents per an ounce. Same candy, fresh, good, the most common or the most uh, current candies that he had available. And why did all the kids go over there? So he pulled a little boy aside one day and he said, can I ask you a question? And he said the same things. We have the same candy, the same thing, and so on and so forth. And why do you go to my store uh, competitor across the street instead of coming to me? And he said, well, Mr. Smith, or whatever his name was, when we came to your store, you poured a bunch of candy into the, uh, to the measuring deal, the thing, the scale, and then you started scooping away, scooping away, scooping away to finally get down to an ounce. Whereas Mr. Smith or Mr. Jones, on the other side of the street, he pours a little candy in, adds more, adds more, adds more, adds more, gets up to that ounce. And that's why all those kids went there, because it was a completely different perspective. Taking away all the candy from dumping it all in, or starting with a little bit and adding and adding and adding to come up to that ounce. So it's always about perspective. So think about that on this 4th of July. Think about how grateful we are. Think about the independence that we enjoy as a people, as a nation, as a country. And think about it when you're writing in your gratitude journal. Don't forget that gratitude journal. They're on the website at thebrooker.com. Also, pop up top and hit subscribe on the YouTube portion to make sure you get an email every day that the next video is out from the Brooker. That's it for the day. Have a great 4th of July. We'll see you tomorrow.